5 a.m., Steve. I hope you appreciate me. But first, coffee. Thank you. It's about 5.30 a.m. right now, and we are on the road. We've got some caffeine in us. And we are headed down to meet up with Steve at the Gamers Nexus office. Going to spend the weekend down there and get some uh, some content for both of our channels produced. We've been talking and we've got some really interesting ideas. So hopefully that all comes to fruition. It really all just depends on time, how much time we have to shoot each piece. Uh, because I'm only down there for, for two days, basically all day today and then uh, all day tomorrow. So gonna the plan is to arrive there around 11 o'clock. And uh, what was interesting was that uh, when I got up this morning, I got up at 4.30 uh, because I had to take a shower or walk the dog before I left. And uh, as I was getting up, I I looked at my phone and Steve had literally just sent me a text at like 10 after 4 saying that, uh, you know, we were going to meet up at, you know, around 11 o'clock at the office and to shoot him a text when I was close. And I'm like, wait, does that mean he went to sleep at like 4.10 a.m.? And I'm getting up at 4.30, that doesn't seem fair. Time for stop number one on our journey. Been driving for about two and a half hours and I need to refill on some coffee, maybe get a little breakfast. And um, I don't think I need gas, put on gas. And uh, we'll keep going down the road. My, my GPS right now says I'm supposed to be there at 10.22. So um, I'm supposed to meet Steve at 11. So it, I'm just gonna relax for a minute and then Get back on the road. We've re-upped on coffee, but I've discovered a little bit of a, an issue. Uh, I went into my bag just to grab a cable, and I realized that when I packed my stuff up this morning at like 4.45 a.m., I brought this camera, which has a microphone on it, the Video Micro, and I brought my big camera, the a7 III, with all the rigging and stuff and the tripod, and I brought the uh, my Ceramonic wireless receiver, but I didn't bring the mic packs that associate with that wireless receiver. So I the only microphone I have is the video micro that's on here, which works great in like small spaces or when you're close to the camera, but when you're in a big studio, uh, you're gonna get a lot of reverb from this. So not ideal. And I'm going to probably have to ask Steve if I could either borrow his or use a shotgun mic or something like that. So, yeah, that'll that'll teach me to, to try to pack stuff up when I'm literally three quarters asleep. All right, let's press on. We have arrived, and there's somebody else here. Hello. Look at that guy. Look at that guy right here. So Steve is actually just going to show us through the, uh, the wall of curiosities over here. And um, I guess... Um, you know, point out some things to us that we may or may not have already seen. We have a new, this is a new addition Yeah. to the wall. And did you see this video? I actually didn't see that video. I saw you had okay. posted it, but I, cause I saw the review of the cute pet yeah. and I'm like, not in, not again, not again. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's a painted black, uh, painted back plate version of the cute pet. That's pretty much you it. You can't show it too much. You'll get demonetized. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's yeah. that. Um, there's some other stuff I haven't showed up before. Like, have you seen this set? This all these Nvidia boxes. Well, because I uh, I need to show these. You have to, right? You're I have required to. to. You too, right? I am actually required to, yeah. and I sometimes I just stack them in videos. How many people do you think won't get that? That's a that's joke. a joke. Well, I hope that all of them, because then the comments will be fun. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the the new Threadripper boxes down here, but it's on top of an old. Athlon 64X2. Yeah. Did you ever build any systems with those? Uh, yes. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I don't actually know off the top of my head what year. I want to say yeah. 2004. It, uh, yeah. It was sometime two. before the, the the one that I brought, the FX62. Yeah. That was right before that. Yeah. And then, I don't know, non-functional 5700XT. We've got um, Google Stadia memorabilia right here when I torched it on camera. Yeah. Classic, classic yep. GN moment. Instant classic. This is a piece of silicon. This is a, I think this is a 1080. Well, it was a piece of silicon. What happened to it? Um, we cut it out of the board because it was dead and figured, well, at least we can get kind of a cool prop. Anyway, I mean, it looks like a wafer cookie yeah. almost inside. So it's it's all layered. 
substrate. You've got the BGA contact for the solder bumps, and then top side is this is the bottom layer of the silicon uh, die. Hmm. So that's like the copper layer. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that is pretty neat. I, I don't have anything nearly this cool, and I'm sure that like a lot of guests that come through here are kind of like, we have to see what's on this wall. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's cool oh. stuff. I mean, I I really like the like the blank PCBs are some of my favorite. Yeah. Because uh, we've got the X399 blank. We have the 780 Ti that's populated, but no GPU or memory. I one day I, I really want to find someone who's skilled enough. Maybe Lewis Rossman, but I don't know. Skilled enough to spend the week required to transplant. Well, All there the was, parts. there was, did you see the recent transplant of memory from? I heard about it, yeah. Yeah, so it's possible, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if that happens, I'll, I'll come back and yeah. we'll, we'll do a video with that yeah. one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's most of that stuff. Yeah, so we, we're actually shooting a couple of videos today. Uh, the first one is a water-cooled system that we're working on. Uh, and then after that, I don't know, we'll probably just hang out. There's not much to do, right? I mean, that's kind of what just you guys do. Just liquid nitrogen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll, we'll check that we'll out. We'll pour a few glasses of liquid nitrogen, kick back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't All right. It. So we'll do that tomorrow, but uh, we got to get back to work on the water cooled system. So uh, I don't know. Let's get to it. Okay. So it is 8.20 in the PM, and we are in the middle of working on this thing. And uh, it's time to go grab some food. So you ready? I didn't get that on camera, but I just got the finger. Good morning. We worked last night till almost one o'clock. So uh, I got in and I just kind of zonked out. Sorry for the lack of updates in between, but we got more work to do today. We got to head back to the studio and uh, finish up a couple of projects we were working on, including that water cooled build. Uh, so I need some coffee right now. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna get back there and get to work and another full day of filming today. So I think by the time the weekend's over, we're gonna have uh, four or five content pieces done. So really productive time down here um, and uh, looking forward to getting started again. I just gotta just gotta get my eyes to work properly right now. Back for day two at Gamers Nexus headquarters and we finished up this system last night and you guys will probably see this on the GN channel uh, coming soon, right Steve? Yeah, next, yeah. next four or five days. Yeah, so this this will probably be up uh, this video will probably be up before you see this vlog, uh, but we were working on this till like almost one o'clock last night, and uh, I think it came out pretty good. It's something funny, Steve. You're not used to the vlog format. You it's it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. This is how you YouTube. Uh, Are you not well, familiar? I've become aware that people like Casey Neistat make a lot of money doing it this way. Well, that's so that's why I'm hoping to <laughs> emulate Casey. Uh, but today we're going to be working with uh, with this stuff back here. We're going to be doing some LN2. What exactly we're going to be ln 2 Did we decide yet? I think probably a 3950X just okay. because I already know what it can do. Yeah. And, and I can't mess it up that badly. That's a really good chip, so I hope you don't. Yeah. All right. I really I'll do, hope you don't. I'll do my best. Uh, but we got to get on top of this, uh, get rolling today. It's Sunday. It's the last day I'm here. Uh, you will see one more update from me before this video is over. Whoever the Stanley guy is owns all your thermoses. Just finished up some LN2 overclocking and um, we got up to five gigahertz on a 3950X with honestly pretty like minimal effort. Like Definitely. it was, it didn't really take that much to do and it was, it was a lot of fun and um, I learned some things. So hopefully we'll be applying some of that knowledge in uh, some upcoming videos, especially if we do, if we revisit some more of the extreme overclocking aspect of it. Um, but Steve, man, Great job today. Great job this weekend. And um, you did all the work. I did. I did some of the work. I did some of the work. You did some of the work. I feel we shared the we shared the work. And, yeah, but you uh, shared more of it though. I did. I shared. A, I had a big share. Yeah. Big share. I didn't like uh, nothing to the bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's good. That's that's fine. I, that's why I'm down here, right? So, um, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up down here from the GN headquarters. Uh, I'm gonna get on the road back home pretty soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the content uh, and um, get subscribed to both myself and to to this guy over here, Steve Gamers Nexus. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. The build's thanks. really good. Yeah. Soft, thanks for soft tubing looks like hard tubing. That's the point. It's, yeah. Try, it's good. Try, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We're we're gonna sign off now. Take care, guys. Uh, see you in the next video.